You are not a room number and a diagnosis when you're in the hospital. You're a person, very first. And Joe reminded me that day that I'm a lifesaver. I'm never going to be just a nurse. And with that talent, Miss Colorado quickly became the most talked about at the Miss America pageant earlier this month right here on ABC. Windsor native Kelly Johnson decided to skip the traditional song and dance and confidently walked out in her scrubs, her stethoscope around her neck to talk about being a nurse. And she says that is her talent. But not everyone agreed, including the women of The View, which airs, of course, 10 a.m. each morning here on 7 News. Here's what they had to say just days after that competition. And she came out in a nurse's uniform and basically read her emails out loud and shockingly <laughs> did not win. I was shockingly. like, that's not a real... Seriously? Talent. I swear to God. Why does she have a doctor's stethoscope around Was it about that? Oh, boy, that started the huge outpouring of support uh, for our Miss Colorado. The hashtag Nurses Unite went viral on Twitter. Miss Colorado got booked on talk show after talk show. And she's now here with us now on 7 News Now. So, Kelly, thanks so much for being here yeah, and joining us this me. whirlwind tour you've been on. Did you ever think that that monologue would get this much attention? No, I did not. To be yeah. honest, I had no idea. I thought that it might attract some sort of attention simply because it was unique. But the type of attention that it has grabbed and, and where it's gone, never in a million years. Wow. So you heard the comments from the ladies on The View. Of course, that kind of was the beginning of this firestorm. Right. They have apologized. Right. What do you think of their apology? You know, as I've told other people, you know, because people have asked me, what do I think? And I just, there are consequences for what you say. And for me, they didn't apologize to me. They apologized to nurses all over America. So I love leaving it up to them. You know, they can decide how genuine they felt that it was, and they can decide what to do with that apology. I appreciate it, but it's just not up to me. You know, they didn't just offend Kelly Johnson. They offended 3.6 million nurses. <laughs> a lot of people so, out there. Yeah. And you didn't do this talent on a whim. You had done this for the Miss Colorado competition. Anybody mm -hmm. say anything back then? No, nothing like that. I had a bunch of, of positive support. I had even parents coming up to me by their contestants saying they were so thrilled. They, I mean, it was finally something unique and they had, you know, they have people in their families that have Alzheimer's or they have people in their families or friends that are nurses. And so I think it's relatable and I think that's what People in Colorado especially were giving to me after the competition, but I expected a little bit of backlash. You know, when you put yourself on the Miss America stage, you're there to be judged. Sure. So I did, but it was okay to talk about me, but it's definitely obviously not okay to talk about <laughs> nurses in general. Yeah. So yeah. after all of this, would you do it over again, or would you do that typical song and dance? No, I would do my monologue, absolutely. You know, I, I told people I if I'm ever going to win Miss Colorado or Miss America, I want to do it being authentically Kelly, and that's what I was. I'm a nurse. I love taking care of people, and I, I want to show the young women of Colorado, if they ever want to compete for Miss Colorado, that you can be unique, you can be yourself, and you can also be successful on the Miss America stage. That's a good message. We saw the huge uh, outpouring of support and all the comments all over Twitter and Facebook, etc. Mm -hmm. Were you surprised by the number of people chiming in, or did you get any were surprised by who was chiming in? Yeah, I was. I was definitely surprised. There were so many people, and the majority of them were all were all defending me, you know, and apologizing to me for for the comments that were made, but. I was just so happy. It was such a blessing in disguise. I was so thankful for those comments, honestly, because of what it gave those nurses, the recognition that they deserve and, and the unification that our profession, I think, has been longing for. And so, really, I was just thrilled. And but all these people were, they were so kind and they, and they were definitely reaching out. But it's just been great. It was all positive messages from them. That's good. And so you are Miss Colorado for the yeah. next year, yes. which is fantastic. Yes. What, 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 do, what are your plans for the year? You know, a lot of people have reached out wanting me to be involved in something with their nursing organization. So whether that's a professional organization or you know, an orientation for their students or even talking to high school students that might be interested in some sort of nursing science, um, I want to be involved in that. I, I want to go and speak to students. I want to go speak to other nurses and be involved in conventions. So that will be my Miss Colorado year and, and whatever else people want me to do as Miss Colorado. But then it'll, you know, my year will be up. I'll pass on the crown and then I'll probably go back to school. There you go. Back to being a registered nurse. Yes, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. So now that this is all over, uh, w would you have done anything different? No, I don't think I would have done one thing different. Honestly, it was the most incredible experience of my entire life. And what has happened afterwards, I had no idea was going to happen. So I just enjoyed the two weeks. I made a bunch of friends. I had every moment on the Miss America stage for me wasn't nerve wracking because I had wanted to be there for so long. I just wanted to enjoy it. And so I don't think I would do, I would even do one thing different. My family was there. Both my sisters who, you know, are, are from far away came out and my parents were there. And 
it was just, it was a blessing. And so, no, I don't think I'd change one thing. Miss America would have liked it this much attention. I know. Because <laughs> I think you got more. Have you heard anything about that? Yeah. No, no, I mean, all good? Yeah. I think she's having a blast. I think okay, it's just good. different. I, you know, I think if you're with this unique talent and, and the audience that it was able to reach, it's just different. I think, yeah. you know, that's what it comes down to. But I hope she's having a good time. I'm, I'm sure as heck I am. This is a yeah. blast. No, so. kidding. Well, good. Well, we appreciate you so much for waking up early and getting no dressed. Problem. It can be brutal early in the morning. <laughs> we know. That's why we didn't have you on at 4.30. Yeah. Yeah, but um, enjoy your year. Congratulations you. to you. Congratulations. Well, thank you. Thank you thanks so for, much for having me. Yeah, thanks for taking time to come. Yeah. Make Colorado us. proud. Yeah. We like yeah. it.